First of all, a dog is, is just a creature like us. It's a dog thing. It has a certain amount of intelligence, obedience, loyalty. Obedience in the, in the best sense of the word. Philosophically, we could say it has an animal soul. Well, certainly the dog absorbs people's emotions, people's love. Well, I think, I think people uh, naturally let their guard down with an animal. Not so much that they open up to the animal, but uh, they're more relaxed with animals because animals are not demanding, except in the sense that they demand something that you know you can give very easily and at hardly any cost. They want to be petted. Oh, it's no cost to pet the animal. All right. The dog will accept you uh, exactly the way you are. If the dog uh, sizes you up and likes you, uh, that certainly does a lot for your self-esteem. Most people who have any association with dogs know that the dog is going to return their affection. The dog does it because it's in its nature. People tend to actually interpret dog behavior from their own human experience, which is uh, understandable, but it's still nevertheless incorrect. You try and understand the dog as it really is, and then along with that, you try to bring an intuitive element to your relationship with the dog that allows you to meet it on a new level, a deeper level. If we're going to live in relation to other living beings, particularly the dogs, then we have to understand what their nature is. What can we expect of them given how they are? I think they've been around as domestic animals that long that there is a real bond with, with humanity. And part of its nature is to be in the company of, of people. The companionship of the animal, especially the German Shepherd dog, at least uh, in the sense of being a very high IQ animal, you're not dealing with just a pet turtle or something. So I think that there's a great deal of, of give and take on the part of the, the dog and the master. And this helps the master, I think, to, to, to grow into, a, let's say, a more mature emotional, uh, correct emotional way of being. I think that's why dogs are created. That's why dogs are here, in a sense. It's because uh, is to be, be friends to, to, to people, um, because that's something that they absolutely excel at. I mean, they're just great at it. <laughs> If you make a, a dog into something it's not, then that's no good for the dog either. I mean, the dog is wondrous simply because it's a dog. It doesn't really require anything to enhance its dignity.